What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? So here we go, all the way back to the farm back in 1978 as we check out this Dodge D100 pickup truck from our good friends at MPC. They're our good friends. We know them on a first name basis. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this model kit includes this cool little mini bike as well and uh, it gets one plastic model kit in 125th scale. This is a retro deluxe. It features, well, this is the first time this has been released in a long time. New colorful decal sheet and then some French here. So that's always good. Now, if we look on this side of the box, we get an all new decal sheet with colorful options and look at how many there are. Some really cool motorbike ones on here as well as a gardener one. And then it also includes a long bed with a flip down tailgate. You get a floor jack and a toolbox. And on this side of the box, we see the wonderfully detailed engine and the jack and toolbox again. We get stock wheels and pad printed tires, optional flasher and floodlights, and then this really cool mini bike. So now I'm gonna remove the plastic with my good old Scout pocket knife from 1986. Now let's remove the lid on the box and see what's inside. I can't wait. I've been waiting about two or three days to do this video. Look at right away, you get the wonderful chrome in here, all in a nice plastic bag. And then we've got our windshield and our tail lamps in there. There's our wheels with those Pratt printed uh, white walls. <laughs> Metal axles. There's our body and cab and the undercarriage. And then we've got the tailgate and dashboard, as well as some other bits and pieces. Our wonderful interior. There's our instructions, which I will let Danny the dog show you. And then we've got our wonderful decal sheet. Another Danny the dog treat. So now let's take our instructions and throw them to the dog. Throw the instructions to the dog? Come on, Trevor, what are you talking about? All right, anyway, folks, uh, here we got the instruction sheet for our 1978 Dodge D100 pickup truck and uh, that's by MPC so I will just use that overhead mic again and grab this stick here mm. okay so here we have it says uh, read before you begin now if you've seen that video that Trevor did it's a really good one all about the instructions and reading before you begin so over here we've got this paint color chart that's going down right there there's a lot of paint in this and then down below in panel one we got our wheels going together so there's your uh, dog dish hubcap <laughs> dog dish and then your wheel and there's your tire and your wheel back and all those sandwiched together and that gives you your completed wheel assembly now panel two shows our engine block going together you got your right and left hand side of the engine block as well as the transmission molded on the back here we've got our cylinder heads going down the oil pan and our exhaust manifolds now here we've got our valve covers being glued in place as well as the front cover with the oil filler and the fuel pump panel four shows the intake manifold being glued on top of the block as well as the carburetor and then there's our power steering pump our fan belts and pulleys alternator and the fan i do believe this motor is either a dodge 318 or a dodge 360 but doesn't really say on the instruction sheet anywhere panel 5 shows the engine cross brace and the upper a arms being glued down onto the front of the chassis panel 6 shows our engine block being dropped onto the chassis with our two-piece chrome air cleaner Panel 7 shows our two-piece differential being glued together and then that goes down onto our leaf springs. There's two leaf springs, one per side. Over here in panel 8, we see our rear axle being glued down to the back part of the chassis. But first you put in your uh, exhaust pipes in here so that they don't get trapped underneath. And then you got your shock absorbers going on and here's our spare tire mounted up underneath. Panel 9 shows our front axle going together. Here's the lower A arms and the braces, and they will go up onto our chassis here. And then on the back end of our engine, right on the transmission, there's our drive shaft. You can see how long this drive shaft is. It even has a retainer in there, just so that it won't uh, flop around underneath the car. And there's our metal axle going through, and our wheel and tire assembly being pushed onto the metal axle. Panel 10 shows our radiator being dropped onto the front of the chassis and then our upper radiator hose goes into the engine. There's probably a little hole on the manifold 
and then hooks into the back of the radiator. Here we've got our radiator support wall and then we've also got a battery being glued onto there. Panel 11 shows our interior being glued together and here you've got your interior bucket which is all molded as a one piece and then you've got your dashboard here your steering wheel and column will go inside there and then you've got your gear shift lever being put on the floor and a CB radio the 70s wouldn't be a 70s without the CB radio now here we've got our body the glass goes up inside then our interior tub goes in there we got our firewall here and then we've got our brakes and the heater I do believe and that all goes together just like that in panel 13 we see the body shell being dropped onto our chassis and then you got this nice grill in there which glues onto there and there and then we got this under panel here which go under the grill and then our front bumper and there's our hood being dropped into place as well panel 14 shows our truck bed and then we've got our two-piece rear tailgate and that'll click into place here so that that will swing down and then you drop the the bed down here on the chassis and then you've got your taillights and your chrome which will go in place as well as the rear bumper we get a little bit of a optional thing here in panel 15 so here we've got our mirror and you can use this little mounting bracket which is the stock version or you could replace the whole thing with the uh, service type which will glue on the side of the door and come up here onto the roof there is also the uh, little dome lights that will go on top here and our floodlights and it also says there's an optional oh these are also spotlights here going on the front of the truck so that's for a service vehicle style panel 16 shows our floor jack which is in two pieces now we've got a two-piece toolbox and some nice tools and you can put that anywhere in your truck bed and right here is the gas filler cap which would be gluing on the side of the truck bed as well panel 17 shows our little trail bike being glued together this is like a 50 cc little off-road bike so uh, you glue your sides well you paint your wheel up put it in here on a little peg then you push your body together with the forks up in here and then it says to spread these out a little bit and pop in the front tire so that's kind of the cool part a little off-road motorbike and now trevor's going to keep on trucking right after this i really hope you're enjoying this unboxing of the 1978 dodge pickup truck by mpc and don't forget that if you love model cars and model trucks and want to see some new ones check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca you won't be disappointed and now let's continue with our unboxing of the mpc 1978 dodge truck Thank you very much, Danny. So here we have our truck cab, our truck bed, and up underneath is the frame. This is just to show you all how it goes together so nicely right there. So let's get rid of that and take a look at the cab. So here you can see it's nice and smooth, just like the real 78 Dodge. There's our wonderful door handles molded in place. There's a little seam line ridge right here. I don't think you're supposed to remove that. I think that's actually part of the real truck. Nice ribs across the back here. Really excellent work. There's some mold marks down there into the roof, which you need to get rid of with your number 16 hobby blade. A little bit kind of rough inside the wheel arches, but it does look like maybe it's supposed to be that way I'm not sure there is a cross brace in front here that says remove which uh, you can clip out and don't forget to sand down these areas so it's nice and smooth there's the little cowl vent right there again awesome work the windshield wipers in place as well looks very much like the proper Dodge cab now let's take a look at the pickup bed look at how wonderful all those little ribs are inside there lots of texture should be fun to paint ah nicely there are no mold marks sitting one two three four this is actually smooth so the mold marks are all underneath just like they should be which again is nice and easy to get with that number 16 hobby blade so it fits nice and flush on the frame unfortunately I've got a bit of a chew mark right here on that quarter panel that actually goes up this is why I should never take these parts and twist them off the parts tree just so you know because that kind of thing happens again very smooth on the sides and there's the tail lights sunken in there's a little hinge area for that uh, tailgate to swing into 
So again, very nicely done. And if we take a look at our chassis as well, now all the mold marks are up on the inside, which is good, but will need to be sanded down. Looks like a little relief right there for the battery. Oh, maybe that in the instructions, that wasn't the rad support. Maybe that was a firewall. Again, really nice work. Take a look at the gas tank right there. Um, yeah, good stuff. Cable brake for your, uh, what do you call it? The parking brake. Again, there's a bit of flash in here, which needs to be cleaned up, but overall, very nicely done. A really excellent little kit from MPC under round two. And should go together quite nicely on your shelf. Now here we have our engine components as well as the rear axle and front suspension assembly. There's our engine block with the right and left hand sides and our cylinder heads, the front timing cover and uh, the upper radiator hose. Again, the detail on here is a little bit softer than on some of the kits, but still not bad. I do believe this is a 318. I once had a 76 Plymouth Fury with a 318. That was pretty good once it got tuned up. It's the only car that I could actually put in <laughs> put in drive, it was an automatic, and uh, push on the gas pedal and the rear wheels lit up. So it was really uh, quite the engine. Love that thing. It's got texture on it, which is quite nice. So a little bit of the uh, rough casting texture, which would have been from the factory. Our next parts tree includes the radiator support, radiator, cross brace, the steering wheel, two-piece toolbox, the drive shaft, the firewall, the spare tire, and then some of our interior under hood components. Again, really nicely done in here. Take a look at the, uh, the texture on that radiator. That's awesome. There's our battery. Remember that video I did on batteries? That was great. There's our firewall. And then here we have our wheels. I almost coughed there. That's why my voice went weird. Again, nicely done. Mold marks are, looks like, oh, that's in the front on that one. No, that's in the back. That's interesting. There's a, a wire harness thing going across here on the inside. I don't think anybody will see that. Oh yeah, they will. It, it's on the back. What am I talking about? So there's mold marks here that you'll have to fill in. But uh, overall, it's not too bad. Do some really fierce ones on that radiator on the inside. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is, but it isn't bad. So that's always good. Here we've got our interior bucket and a bunch of these really long rods. I'm not totally sure what they are. There's our CB radio and antenna. This is pretty cool because it's got seatbelt molded in. Actually, it's kind of interesting because there's only one side of the seatbelt. There's not the other side over here. See what I mean? <laughs> so that's kind of weird. The door panels are nice on the sides here for a tub. There's only the gas pedal. There's, unless the other pedals are on the bottom. Yeah, I see them. That's okay. There's a big sink mark in here and here. Those are your mold marks again. That's on a carpeted surface, so that's going to be a bit difficult to fill. Not sure what these are, but uh, there's our CB radio and the CB whip antenna. Again, nice little pieces, nice nostalgic stuff from the 70s. Shouldn't be too bad. You could use some flocking in here for your carpets. Overall, eh, it's, it's good. This parts tree includes our Dodge D100 hood with the sunken in areas. You can see little pins back here for hinging the hood. Here we've got our wheel backs, which I'll have to turn over so you can see just how cool they are. They look like actual wheel rims with the brake in behind. Now here we've got four sink holes, which is never very fun, but uh, you could easily fill them. Nice cross bracing underneath here, just like the real Dodge D100 hood. So overall, quite nice. Our next parts tree includes the wonderful dashboard and our tailgate, as well as that front panel. Again, really nicely done. It's got the uh, single speedometer right in the center. And then the pedals down here, there's a lot of flash on this, you'll have to remove it. Uh, glove box up top, and there's the ribs in the tailgate again. Turn this over, oh no that's not, is that, that's the back of the tailgate right there. Nice depression inside there, really good. And then we've got our front as well. So again, really really nicely done. 
Next up, we've got two parts trees. So here we have the Dodge pickup wheels. These are the uh, dog dish hubcap style. You could also use these on a police car if you wanted to. There's our jack and jack handle. This is the heavy duty jack. There's part of the drive shaft. And then here we've got some more of the braces. So let's just take a look at these wheels quickly. Again, you can see just how nice they are. They got the correct Dodge wheel bolt pattern. Remember, these have uh, right hand threads on one side and left hand threads on the other. And here we've got our nice jack with the, the handle there, as well as all these other little cool components. So again, really nicely done, real simplistic parts and should be easy to go together. And here we have our little off-road bike, all on one parts tree. Again, there's our front forks with the little springs, a little bit of a flash and a piece in between there. There we've got our nice little Brigenstrat and almost style of engine on there. And then our front wheels. Did anybody actually have one of these bikes in real life? Let us know down in the comments below just how much you liked it. Here we have two very nicely done chrome parts trees, and the chrome on this is really fantastic. These are the dog dish hubcaps for our stock pickup truck, so I'm just going to move those aside. And then here we've got our grill right there with the Dodge lettering on the top, so you're going to look at it this way really. There's those nice slotted mags, and they're hollow through the slots. The slots are drilled out, so that's cool. Dodge rear bumpers. This is typical of early MPC. And then there's our fan there and the alternator, carburetor. Looks like you get three carburetors here. I wonder if that was an option at some point. And then uh, there's our chrome air cleaner, side mirror mounts, gear shift levers. There's the custom mirrors as well. Really cool stuff. Chrome on here is quite excellent. If you want to take a look at the dog dish hubcaps, there they are. Again, real nice pieces. All this should go together real easily and look fantastic on your model. Next up, we've got the clear components that make up our windshield and the little lights right in there. So again, nicely done. It's got that bridge connecting the front glass to the back and there are four mold marks right in there. But you can always saw this glass back and glue it into the cab. Again, really nicely done. You can see the rectangular lights. Then there's our red tail lamps for the truck and our little flasher unit as well for the service vehicle. So again, very wonderful plastic in this model. And here we've got these wonderful Goodyear Polyglass G7015 tires. And again, these are nicely done. You can see the white wall that's been tampo printed on there. The tread is really nice looking. And then on the back, it's all black wall. So you can have these with the white walls on the inside or the outside. Very nice squishy tires for you, for Danny to chew on. Hey, yeah, I'd love to chew on those. Well, forget it, Danny. You're not going to do that. Oh, come on. Yeah, again, really nicely done and wonderful from MPC. Well, if I can't chew those tires, then at least I can show you the decal sheet. So right here we get two blue sprocket motorcycle repair styles. You get one with the black letters for sprocket or the white letters. So this would go onto a light colored truck, like a white one or sand colored. This would go onto a dark one, like a, maybe a black truck or like dark brown. I don't know, or dark green. There's some nice logos on the side, slogans, as well as the motorcycles, American flag here. And then we get these nice Dodge name plates that go on there. Uh, get it back on the road, that's cool. This little one here is for on the side tank of the motorbike. There's the MPC logos. There's a Baditsky here. That almost makes me think of Jurassic Park, you know. There's the uh, phone number for the bike fix thing. Here's a Green Toes Lawn Care. And right here you get a California license plate, a Michigan license plate, a New York one, one that says Dodge, one that says 1978, and then two different motorcycle style ones as well. Again, really cool decal sheet. Even got Goodyear tires on there. Yeah, really awesome stuff. Well, I sure hope y'all love that unboxing video of the 1978 Dodge pickup truck. And you know what I'm thinking of doing with this? Remember a long time ago, way back, I did an unboxing of the camper and the wedge and James let me borrow that. I'm thinking, actually the video is gonna come across up here. What I'm thinking of is 
I'm going to buy that model off of my good friend James, and I'm going to mount that camper onto this. Wouldn't that be awesome? And I think I'm going to paint it that sand color, which looks like this, that, and that was from the 1963 Chevy Impala kit. So this being sand and the camper being sand, it should look pretty sandy. No, it should look pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. How would you build this if you had that camper end? There's also a really cool Hot Wheels car. It came out way back in the day. Way back in the day. It was a camper, but it had along the camper sides. I don't know if you remember this. It was green. And along the camper sides, it actually had a dragon with flames shooting out of its mouth. Uh, maybe I can find a picture of that. I'll put that right here. Okay, yeah, how about doing it like that? That would be cool. So anyway, if you want to see the model cars and trucks that we have available and big rigs, there's a Diamond Rio currently on there. Check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. It's really cool. And you can get that. I can ship that anywhere, anywhere that Canada Post can go, including down there. Yes, United States and back east and out west in Canada. Anywhere, anywhere you want it. That's the way you get it anywhere <laughs> so yeah that's what we can do so thank you again for uh, checking this out if you really love these videos and want to support us click that join button down below that'll help do that for i think it's three bucks a month you can support us and if you can't that's okay just keep watching all my videos because youtube will give us a little cut from that too so until next time everybody happy model building and we'll see you on the road